color amazing. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, that's a good amount, like right there. Ooh, it's plant and then green. This is our uh, this is our Blythe Raw Body Organic Rose Essential Oil. By the way, we have a sale going on right now for our rose products on our website, BlytheRaw.com. In B Shop Body, the big orange button, um, you can learn about our. There it is. Look at our website. It's so pretty. Uh, you can learn about our products as well as my sister company and manufacturer's products, Medicine Flower. <clears throat> Excuse me, that's never happened to me before. I just got like a thing in my throat. So we're having a sale right now. Um, rose essential oil and rose, uh, rose petal preserves and rose flavor are all 15% off. And our rose water is actually 20% off until Valentine's Day. Oh, get me. So you guys, check that out. <laughs> Thank you. This is really toning for the face. This in and of itself is an awesome facial mm. toner. You can add it to your, it's edible, of course. You can add it to your um, drinks. You can add it to wine. You can do a couple sprays in wine. To I like to do it on my sheets, like linen sheets. spray. That's an excellent idea. So just so you guys know, we're having a sale until... Uh, February 4th, and our rose oil is our most expensive oil. This is $43. Our least expensive oils are like seven, eight. They're the eucalyptus and the cinnamon. But that's a note of Why? a good essential oil company is that all the, the essential oils would be different prices because of the different um, feedstock. First of all, rose this year, uh, was rose was really hard to buy. It was drier, and the ro rose just was mm. hardly available at all. So that's why it's more expensive. And Rose uh, and Honeysuckle are our two premium oils, and they're in jojoba. Uh, the rest of the essential oils are just the 100% essential oil. Um, but if we did 100% rose essential oil, this bottle would have to be like 250 bucks. So that's why we put it. But I mean, smell it, dig it. Here, let's put some on your wrist. You got to wait for rose. Uh, you got to wait for rose, you know what I'm saying? Uh, smell it. Look how yeah, it is. rub it, use it. Is that mm. to die? You're gonna go home with this. Put a couple drops in there. Thank you. And so I can eat, I either mix um, hemp oil or coconut oil in my hand and put a few drops of the rose oil, or if I'm doing like a massage for my husband, or if I want to do like a whole body massage and I want to make it easier, I'll just I'll use a you know a glass jar, repurposed glass jar, and I'll put the hemp oil in there. In color, can we see it? It's, it, you can't really see on camera how like actually like green it is. It's bright. But I love it. Isn't that great? Mm. Excellent. Uh, so we also um, are showing how to make a really quick and easy rose tea cookie. I oh, that's pretty. They're so pretty. And you can also dip them in chocolate, raw chocolates, mm. which I did. So these are really easy to make. These rose tea so cookies. So these are those. They're just dipped. Yeah, these are those. That looks just so beautiful. Isn't that pretty? It really is. It's all Thank like you. the colors. And... Thank you. Can we have an overhead of that in a second, Andy? Thank you. So this is really easy to make, uh, and I forgot one of the ingredients. Or one of the ingredients. So these are our uh, raw uh, macadamia nuts from Essential Living Foods. Awesome, awesome. So all you do is put, you know, a cup and a half or whatever the recipe says. It's on the website um, in the kitchen blogs recipe, blythraw.com. Uh, like a cup and a half of this with two tablespoons of coconut nectar or coconut agave. Nectar. Yeah, coconut nectar is awesome, which is what I made these, except I actually forgot it. And that's from Essential Living Foods, too. You could also use agave nectar. Okay. You just want a sweet. You could also use maple syrup. It'll give it sort of a darker profile. Try one. So, basically, it's, it's, it's literally four ingredients. It's the nuts, the sweet, which I use coconut nectar, but you could use agave nectar or maple syrup, rose petal preserves. This is on our website. This is 15% mm. off. This is from Medicine Flower. I love Medicine Flower. They're one of the highest integrity um, companies. I can get this thing open because I want you to smell this. It's so amazing. Um, and then I use the rose flavoring with this too. So you oh, don't have to use flower, the rose yeah. flavoring, but it's an excellent one. Will you open that and smell mm -hmm. it? Because uh, the, the, the flavorings are like just amazing and they're all cold pressed flavorings, mm -hmm. all organic or wild crafted. How amazing is this is with chocolate. I love that. that no one would ordinarily cool think of rose, rose as an chocolate. herb, you know? Oh, yeah. Or with chocolate or anything, really. It has so really. many medicinal purposes. So mm -hmm. the rose hips you were talking about Can with the bush. It? Yeah, here. Um, the rose hips you were talking about, you can make a jam with you. Is that yep. going to fit in there? Yep. Rose hips, rose petals. Who would have thought it? Yeah, you eat it. 
You didn't eat it. So I would have too with the cookie. My mm. rose bushes were barren, so it's I didn't so have any. so delicate. Isn't that great? I didn't have any roses on my rose bush, and I didn't want to like pick roses from the neighborhood because you don't That time of know year, you don't, and they are what sprayed spray more with. than anything. Now for the cookie, if I had roses on my bush, I would have tore up the petals and put it in the cookie as well. And then oh, that would be in the food processor. So in the food processor with the chop tool, you just put in the nuts, the preserves, the sweet, whether it's, like I said, agave or so dainty, nectar, and um, a little bit of rose flavor, and oh. put the flour in, blend it all up. And then, let me show you here what I do. These do go in the dehydrator. So I put them you know, on a dehydrator tray, like so. How long? And um, I dehydrated them for 10 hours. So they just go like that, and then you serve them. And you know, I did this really quickly. Like if I was like totally gonna try to make something look really good I, I might maybe use a cookie mold or okay. you know like you can no, smash it you into don't, a cookie mold no they're or so elegant you know? just like they are, are they? with the rose they? there you could have a little tea party 